and let's all do it together. Everyone, please put on your thinking cap. Buckle it. Turn up your listening ears. And zip your lips. Excellent. So this afternoon, we're going to talk some more about some numbers that we've been talking about. We've been, we already know how to count numbers of 1 to 10, right? Yes, give me a thumbs up if you know how to count 1 to 10. Excellent. So now we're going to talk about some more numbers. We're going to talk about those numbers that come after 10. We're going to review really quick by reading a fun story. This story is called Mouse Count. The author of my story is Ellen Stoll Walsh. So we'll read this story really quickly and we'll review numbers 1 through 10. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes and they all took naps. While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. On his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. What do you think he's going to fill the jar with? A mouse. A mouse? Let's see. It wasn't long before he found three little mice. Little, warm, and tasty. Fast asleep. First, I will count them and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count. Everybody ready? Say mouse count. Mouse count. Let's see. So how many is that? One. One. Two. Three. He dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. So what do you think he's going to do? Get some more. He's going to get some more. So what comes after three? Four. Four. So maybe he'll look for a fourth mouse. Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Four, five, six, seven. But the snake was very, very hungry, and seven mice were not enough. So what do you think he's, he's gonna, gonna do? He's gonna fill the jar. What is he gonna fill the jar with? Yeah. No. With mice. But he already has seven, but seven is not enough. So he needs to get more, right? Eight. What comes after Eight. seven? Eight. Eight. So let's see. At last, he found three more mice. Little, warm, and tasty. Fast asleep. And he counted them. Eight, nine, ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I am going to eat you up. Little, warm, and tasty, said the snake. No, he's sleepy. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet. And look, look at the big mouse over there. The snake was very greedy. Everyone say greedy. greedy. That means he wanted to eat more and more. He was not full. He hurried off to get the big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way and another way. Everybody rock. Rock like you're a little mouse in the jar. Rock a little mouse in the jar. They rocked the jar. What do you think is going to happen? jar is going to break? Let's it's see. Crack the Until it went 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he got back, the jar was empty. The end. Yeah, that was a great story. It was a great story. So that snake, did he get to eat those 10 mice? No. No, he didn't because they tricked it and they got out of the jar. So we would just review the numbers we already know how to count. We know numbers 1, 2, ten. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? What now we're going to talk about the numbers that come after 
10. So does anybody know what come, what number comes after 10? 11. 11. Let's see, 11. Do you know what 11 looks like? 11. 11. Is this 11? Yeah. Good job. So this is number 11. 11. Excellent. What comes next? 11. 12. What's this? 12. And 12 has what? A 1. A 1 in the front. Good. The 1 in the front and the 2 in the back. Very good job. So this is 12. And what comes next? What comes next, Jade? 13. 13. Very good. And the Cornell, what comes next? 14. 14. And what's the other number? 15. 15. Excellent. A 1 and a 5. So today we're going to talk about numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We're going to play the numeral game with our partners, okay? So one partner will be the doer. If you have the hand card, that means you're the doer. And the other partner will be the checker. If you have the check card, that means that you're going to be the checker. Sit up, friend. Excellent job. So we're going to work on counting numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So when Miss Townsend says go, I want everyone to turn around to your tables, and you're going to get ready with your partner. I will know that you are ready because your hands will be on top of your head just like this, and your lips will be there. That will tell Miss Townsend that you're ready. Thumbs up if we understand. Go. Remember, how will Miss Townsend know that you are ready? Good, I know that Najee is ready. Let me see. Oh, I only see, I see two ready friends. I know that Jovan is ready. Oh, I know that Courtney is ready. Remember, when you show Miss Townsend that you are ready by having your hands on your head and your lips zipped. Excellent. So the first number that we are going to work with is number what? 11. 11. So if you are the doer, if you are the doer, please find your numeral cards. Please find your numeral cards inside your bag and take out number 11. Take out number 11. Only if you are the doer. Only if you are the doer. Excellent job. Take out number 11. Take out the number 11 card. We're taking out the number 11 card. Do you see number 11? Please. Where's the number 11 card? Thank you. I need you to put these in here because we're not working with chips yet. When you have the number 11 card, please hold it up. Only if you are the doer. Only if you are the doer. The number 11 card. Very good job. So we're going to count to 11. And Ms. Townsend is going to show you how we're going to count to 11. So Ms. Townsend has her card. What number do I have? What number do I have? 11. 11. I have 11. So I'm going to use my chips to count 11, okay? So I am the doer. I'm going to use my chips to count 11. And I'm going to count my chips and put them on the table. Where am I putting my chips? On the table. Where am I putting my chips? On the table. And then the checker will check my work by picking up my chips and putting them into the bucket. Does everyone got that? Yeah. So I'm the doer. I'm going to count my chips and put them on the table. And then the doer, excuse me, the checker will check my work by picking up the chips and putting them into the bucket. Thumbs up if we understand. Excellent, so Ms. Townsend will model for you what we're gonna do, and I'm counting what number, friends? Ten. What number? Ten. 11. So let me find my, here's my number 11 card. Can everyone see my number 11 card? Yes. Excellent, so here's 11. Let me count. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Excellent. So now I was the doer. What's the checker's job? To check, so check my work. How are they going to check my work? How are they going to check it? What are they going to do? They're going to say good job. No, they're not going to say good job, friend. That's after. But what are they going to do, Kaylee? I heard you say it. They're going to pick up my chips and put them into the bowl one by one. So, Courtney, can you please be the checker? And can you count 11 chips? 
All, we're all paying attention. Excellent. Courtney is taking her time. She's counting the chips one by one. One, two, three. Kaylee's paying attention to the example. Very good job, Angela. 11. Eleven. So did I do it right, Courtney? Yes. So what can you say to your partner? Good job, first. Excellent job. And so now we'll put our chips back inside the bag and we'll get to switch. It'll be our partner's turn, okay? Is everyone ready? Yes. Point to your number 11 caller and go. Let's see. Number 11. Let's pay attention. Let's see. Count 11. And where are you putting your chips at? No, we're putting them on the table. We're putting them on the table. The doer is putting their chips on the table. On the table. Giovanni, what number? So, you're the doer. I need you to count 11 chips. We're putting our chips on the table. Excellent. Joshua's working hard. He's counting to 11. Very good. Good job, Vaughn. We're counting 11. Fantastic. Courtney, pay attention to your partner. checkers job you've already finished so it's the checkers I job to check your work all right so it's your partner job go ahead and allow her to check your work no it's your partner's job to check your work so your partner will check the chips go ahead jake yes it is your partner's job jake put the chips in the bowl Let's go, Bless. Go ahead and check his work. No, I'm trying to count to leave it to me. Do you have 11? So now it's your turn. I'm going to check his work. Put them in the bowl one at a time. Jayla, do you try to check his work? Check his work, Jayla. Put them in the bowl one at a time. Uh, so what do you say? Uh oh, we're trying again. So Giovanni, she said, uh oh, we're gonna try it again, okay? So we're gonna try it again. So let's try it again together, Giovanni. Are you ready? What number are we looking for? Eleven. Let's count eleven one at a time. Ready? One. Two. Ricky, did you check this work for me? Okay, so what's the next number? 11, what's the next number? 12. So these go back inside here. And now Courtney will be the doer and Ricky will be the checker. All right, Courtney, you're counting number 12. 12, thank you. Bless you. Okay, so what do you say to him? I always said, oh, 
Okay, so we have to try it again. So top oh, eleven. Let's try it again. Ready? Mommy, not the lady. Do what? 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 Are you paying attention to your partner? No. All right, Jaden, let's work on number 12. I'm going to be Mikkel, can you check my next work, please? Thank you. So she has 12. Let's count it, Mikkel, and make sure, okay? Have a seat on your bottom, please. Count it, Mikkel, and make sure one at a time.
we're gonna try it again. Where's your 